I'm Phil Helmuth Jr., and in this lesson, we're going to take a look at some strategies and tactics that will help you play against tight opponents. If a loose player gets involved in too many hands preflop, a tight player doesn't play enough. This can make determining their range of hands fairly easy, as tight players are often unwilling to play with anything less than a premium holding. Because tight players are diametrically opposed to loose ones when it comes to their playing styles, it makes sense that you need to alter your approach when playing hands against these tight players. Where you are looking to play tighter against a looser opponent, you profit by playing more aggressively against tight opponents. During preflop play, this means you are going to want to be raising more hands against tight opponents. I know, for example, if I have an opponent in the blinds who's really, really tight, and I'm in late position, I raise it every single time. If you see an opponent who likes to limp into the pot with marginal hands like queen 10 suited or a medium pocket pair, you can often push them off their hand by putting in a preflop raise. By the same token, if you see a tight player who doesn't defend his big blind with anything other than a big hand, like I said, push him out of there and steal those blinds, baby. Don't be afraid to open up your game. In fact, many players like to raise with junk, hands like 10-7 or 6-4 in these spots, rather than mediocre ones like Queen-10 or Jack-9, as they are easier to get away from if they are re-raised. If by chance you do call a raise from a tight player while holding a mediocre hand, be careful if you flop something like top pair and your tight opponent is putting in a lot of money. Then it is likely that your opponent has you beat with an over pair or trips or even with a better kicker. Be careful with top pair and no kicker. Another key is to watch how a tight player reacts once they become involved in a hand before the flop. Listen to this. Some tight players will open raise a pot with a good hand, but fold to a re-raise because they aren't willing to risk their chips with anything less than a premium hand. That's like me sometimes. Other tight players will become sticky once they have opened a pot and will and their stubbornness will force them to not lay down their hand to anything other than a huge mega re-raise. So pay attention how your tight opponent reacts to pre-flop re-raises, and then only re-raise those players who show they can lay down a hand they wanted to play. After a flop, the best way to profit against tight opponents is to bet or raise them off of their hands, or, to put it another way, bluff them, baby! Well, this is a very effective play against a tight, timid opponent, you need to be careful when you're facing a tight and talented player, as they often know how to trap aggressive opponents and induce them into bluffing off their chips at bad times. That's me, baby. I'll play tight, and I'll make you bluff. As the game gets shorthanded, you also need to become a little bit more careful against some tight opponents. Some of those tight players will fail to adjust to a shorter table, which means you continue to play aggressively against them without much fear. But the other talented tight players will know how to change their game as the situation changes and are likely to loosen up their ranges as you loosen up yours. Pay close attention to these players and exercise some caution if they start to play back at you more frequently in shorthanded situations, like I will do. Finally, remember that position is always your friend. If there is an all-in race during a particular hand, make sure you're the one who's making it, baby! Where a loose player will often fold because they have a weak hand, tight players are likely to fold in these spots because they fear they have an inferior hand.